This is Gout Gout. Many see him as the future of sprinting on the international scene, and it's certainly easy to see why. In 2024, Gout achieved one of the greatest seasons of sprinting that a junior athlete has ever achieved, running incredible times throughout his early season and beating his fellow track athletes by ridiculous margins. On January 27th, Gout achieved a brand new PR of 20.69 seconds in the 200 meters, a time that now placed him amongst some of the greatest junior sprinters that the world had ever seen. But it's important to remember that he was still just a youth athlete, as he is still only 16. These kinds of incredible performances seem to happen almost every single week, making Gout Gout one of the most promising young prodigies in sprinting at the moment. However, this new improvement that took place in the early months of this year would only be the very, very beginning of his remarkable 2024. On March 16th, Gout ran in the Queensland Athletics Championships for the Under-18 division, where he famously ran his 10.29, absolutely exploding away from the entire field over the final 20 or 30 meters. This 100 meter performance eventually went viral as it was shared across various social media platforms. And every single time I watch this race, it only makes more and more sense as to why people wanted to watch this 100 so often. This 100 victory was without question a moment of pure sprinting excellence, but there's actually much more to this race than meets the eye because this under-18 victory was actually fast enough to place first in the under-20 division during this competition. And also, you guessed it, it was even fast enough to win the senior men's race by a few one-hundredths. And it should be noted, the Gout's race was achieved with a 0.0 meters per second wind, while the senior men's race actually had a slight tailwind. It was quickly becoming obvious that this young sprinter was potentially set to do some pretty crazy things as 2024 went on, and after easily taking wins in the U20 and U18 Nationals in Australia, Gout Gout went into this year's World Junior Championships with some pretty high goals as a 16-year-old, and even though the odds were heavily stacked against him, he still achieved one of the most incredible things that I have ever seen a 16-year-old do. For this year's World Junior Champs, one of the big favorites coming into the 200 finals was the South African runner Bayanda Walaza, who was fresh off his 100 victory at these championships with a time of 10.19. It was apparent that Walaza had a pretty huge advantage over Gout for these 200 finals, not just because he was 18 for this competition, but because he had just run a 20.34 second 200 earlier this season, almost four tenths of a second faster than anything that Gout had done previously. Indeed, it was going to be a monumental task for Gout to catch the South African Walasa, but despite his disadvantage, watch what happened for these 200 finals. Nick Odi Jordan as his nearest challenger, Starting to roll, starting to roll, just too late. It is the double for Bianda Walaza. Well, that was pretty crazy. At the halfway point of this race, anyone with a functioning brain would be able to tell that Gout was not going to catch Walaza. In fact, there was no way he was going to get anywhere close, given this deficit. But with one of the most impressive closes that I have ever seen from a junior athlete, he somehow almost caught his South African rival. With the finishing time of 20.52 seconds for Walasa and 20.60 seconds for Gout, these two finished one and two at the World Junior Champs. And while Walasa's speedy opening 100 and solid strength brought him this victory, we really do need to go back and talk about Gout's close here, because for a 16-year-old to do this was pretty wild. After analyzing this 200 race various times and using frame-by-frame -frame analysis to break down these splits, we've uncovered that Gout ran his opening 100 in approximately 10.88 up to 10.92 seconds, and he then proceeded to run his second 100 meters right around 9.70. And let's remember, this kid just became old enough to get his driver's license, and yet he is closing his 200 races like this. To be able to close a 200 meters in 9.7 is absolutely world class, and this is where the truth of Gout Gout really becomes obvious, 
Yes, he still has growing left to do, and yes, he is still finding his optimal training and racing in track and field, but already, he is one of the most talented closing top speed athletes in the game right now. If we take Gout Gout's clothes and compare this to each individual in this year's Senior World Championships in the 200 meters, his clothes of 9.70 would have put him right in the middle of this absolutely world-class field. In fact, his second half was just 0.02 seconds slower than what Ariane Knighton achieved, and it was actually faster than two athletes in this field. And again, this is the Olympic Finals, the biggest stage in athletics. Now, again, his start certainly needs improvements if he does in fact want to get closer to running these ultra-fast times in the 200. But time is almost certainly his ally in this regard. In fact, we have already seen this in full action. Because what he just did on November 3rd of this year proved that his start and his close are both improving at lightning speed. In this year's Queensland All-School Championships, Gout Gout returned to the track in Brisbane, Australia to see exactly what he could do over the 200 meters. And well, he managed to do this. This performance truly placed Gout Gout at a higher echelon of speed than anything that he has done in the past. His start was super impressive, his close was classically quick, but what exactly were his splits? Were they faster than his World Junior Championships? Were they about the same? Well, sadly, it's kind of hard to say. For the World Junior Champs, we had various international companies on site setting split standards across the track, whereas this meet in Australia didn't quite have the same technology present. But if I had to guess, his opening 100 was at least a tenth faster than what he did in the World Junior Championships, and for his final 100, it was maybe a tenth faster or so if not exactly the same. If we look at the split times required to run a 20.29, then we can somewhat realistically say that he opened his first 100 in, let's say, 10.70, and then he closed his final 100 in around 9.59. Or perhaps he opened his first 100 in 10.60, and then he closed once again in 9.69. Either way, Gout Gout made the rest of this field look like they were standing still, and at some points, there honestly was next to nobody in camera shot. And while 20.29 now ranks him fourth all-time on the world youth list, only behind Arion Knighton, Usain Bolt, and Purapol Boonson, we actually saw Gout Gout do something even more impressive in the 100 meters just one day earlier. For this 100 meter race, Gout Gout once again exploded away from the field in this U18 race, winning this 100 in 10.31. But what made this so exceptional was that the wind was negative 1.2 meters per second, meaning that he ran this directly into a strong headwind. With more favorable winds, he would have easily improved on his own personal record of 10.29. In fact, if we do a basic wind conversion, his 10.31 with wind was the equivalent of a 10.24 with no wind, and with a maximum allowable wind of positive 2.0 meters per second, it would come out to around 10.15. Now, obviously, wind conversions don't take everything into consideration, so you do need to take these wind conversions with a grain of salt. But if we do take this 10.15 time and place it on the all-time list, it would rank him at number 4 all-time in the youth division as well. Which is truly crazy, because he is definitely a top speed kind of sprinter, not a quick starter. But with each passing day, it really does seem as though his start is only getting better and better. And ironically, this 100 meters didn't have the best start as he faltered a little bit over the opening few steps. But then the following 90 to 95 meters were just pure explosive dominance from Gout Gout. Right now, this young athlete is in a very unique position as one of the greatest 16-year-old sprinters to ever compete. And with multiple years left in his junior eligibility, it will be very interesting 
to see exactly what he does over both the 100 and the 200 and potentially the 400 meters if he does in fact decide to compete. And now I would love to hear from all of you. What do you think about this incredible young sprinter from Australia? Do you think he's set to break 20 for a junior? Do you think he could possibly get close to 10 seconds in the 100 for the U20 division? And what do you think his next few races will be as he's actually set to race this very weekend in Australia? Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.